Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. In a lecture last week, somebody asked me a question that, sir, why do you connect movies so much to your lectures? And I thought I'll pick this question for today's video. I must tell you that my journey into the world of movies comes from Doordarshan. And when I was a little kid uh, living in a lovely town, Jodhpur in the west of India, the television was my window to the world. And there were three uh, opportunities of watching movies. One was the weekly movie Doordarshan would give, which was usually a family entertainer. The second one was an English movie or a movie from some uh, foreign lands. Sometimes it could be German, Italian, and that used to come somewhere in the 10, I think it was called adult movies in those times. So it was like somewhere in 10, 10, 30 in the night. And I saw some amazing movies uh, late in the night. And they were world famous movies, but shown through Doodarshan. And that gave me an amazing window to the world. And the third was, on Sundays, there were regional movies from Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Bombay, Maharashtra. And it gave me so much to know about my own country and the languages and the people. And I was fascinated by the world of movies because one, um, movies took me to some other world. It de-stressed me, it entertained me. And I must tell you that they taught me a lot which is what I want to focus in this video, that every movie has an amazing storylines, characters, research, a concept. And if you go deeper into all of that, it will increase your knowledge tremendously. And my knowledge increased tremendously by being a movie watcher. It was fun and gave me learning at the same time. Not only that, I think movies are perfect uh, examples to connect with the work I do. I work a lot on six C's. Confidence, curiosity, creativity, communication, collaboration and competence. And there is no better uh, framework than a movie to learn all of this. So I'm going to give you some examples which might be helpful to you on how movies have benefited my life and it might benefit yours too. The first is all of us go through lots and lots of ups and downs in life. We fail. We sometimes feel bad about rejections and failures. We sometimes have issues about our own body and the environments we live in. Sometimes we have challenges and we, we seem to have odds stacked up against us. And that's where movies are such amazing uh, ways to remember that despite all the odds that we have in front of us, if we uplift our confidence and if we have the confidence to overcome these challenges, I think we can sail through. I mean, the whole concept of this angry young man, uh, Amitabh Bachchan, a person who's working in a coolie in a dock somewhere and uh, becomes this huge human being larger than life is nothing but a message to us that, hey, no matter where you come from or who you are, if you keep going, if you fight and overcome your fears, I think you'll become who you want to become. Uh, there's another great movie which I uh, watched with my daughter. Actually, it's not a great movie, but it's a movie. My daughter and I watched it together. The movie is called Jumanji. I personally love the Robin Williams version, but my daughter doesn't. She loves the Dwayne Johnson version better, which is fine. And I liked it too. And in that Dwayne Johnson, the rock, this huge hunk of a human being uh, doesn't have confidence, doesn't have the courage. And when I saw that scene, it gave me such a beautiful message that confidence is so important that you may have everything in life. But if you don't have the confidence, <laughs> there's no purpose in doing anything else. And that movie takes Dwayne Johnson's character forward and teaches a lesson to all of us that while you may have a great huge body and power, if you don't have the confidence, it's useless. So movies help me remember that confidence is very important. And I hope you also develop your confidence because of movies. So that's my first request to you that movies help us uh, keep our confidence levels better. Number two, communication. 
uh, you know i must tell you this very interesting thing that when i came to my college uh, i had uh, i was little lucky that i was uh, part of an education where english medium was a part of it though my books were in hindi i was a little privileged but i had friends who never had seen english uh, books at all many of them came for vernaculars and then when i went to us for the first time and i saw my friends struggling with english and communication there was this one friend of mine who taught me a lesson so what he would do is he would pick up a uh, Uh, movies from libraries so in many us cities you could go to public libraries and many of them had these video cassettes and amazing movies like oscar winning movies dramas so he would bring them they were free we had a vcr in our home so he would play them and i would notice how he would watch so he would watch it with subtitles and he would watch it again and again like he would watch the same movie three four times before he returned it the next day so one day i asked him why are you doing this so he said that see my english is bad but i watch movies with subtitles because i can then learn the language i can then learn how to speak it how to put together the words and he came from a very very uh, strong gujarati vernacular and his english improved over time and this is a great message i learned that when you watch something with subtitles you become stronger at that language and then you are able to piece the words together which can help you and we live in a business world where the lingua franca is english so if you watch movies which have very strong dialogues i think you'll be able to improve your communication very well plus not only that you'll be understand you'll be able to understand the characters the behavior of characters which can help you understand and deal with other human beings better so that's my second message to you that movies help us become better communicators the trick is to pick up movies which have strong dialogues connect the uh, subtitles watch it again and again start writing those things ourselves practice it sometimes um there is a scene of al pacino in scent of a woman and the non verbals of al pacino the way he gives that speech uh can be practiced that when i speak i can change my face i can raise my voice i can tone uh, change my tonality the words are very nicely strung together and i practice it so my communication style becomes better so please start watching these amazing movies which have solid dialogues it need not be just be in english it could be any language put the subtitles see what people do and bring it into your day to day life so that's second thing the third thing a amazing world of curiosity and creativity um when i watch these movies uh, and i'll give you a simple example i'm these days a big fan of studio ghibli movies i can't tell you the depth of curiosity creativity that they have in them and every movie has stunning visual arts and how does it help me when i look at stunning visuals i my mind starts to change and they can help me make better slides because i i saw it in some movie somewhere it helps my curiosity i started to know more about japanese culture though i worked in japan for a long time but it gave me such a great insight about their food their locations and so i become more curious about the place so movies help us with tremendous curiosity and creativity and the first movie that really blew my mind on curiosity creativity was this steven spielberg classic when i was a kid called inner space inner space was about a science fiction concept and you take a person into some kind of a ship reduce that ship to a grain and put that ship inside the human body so that you can change it and if you look at today we are looking at nanobots and science technology to reduce and shrink but i learned so much about the human body just by that one movie and my curiosity increased 100 times and i started biology better because of it plus i started to study physics and science better because it was amazing exposure to the world of physics and chemistry and biology so movies open our minds and increase our curiosity creativity please remember our brains are like a muscle we need to work on them 
and the fodder of that is curiosity creativity and if you can read more books watch more movies the brain curiosity creativity starts to work those neurons are very important for us to do better problem solving be a lot more creative and innovative which is very important for our jobs and our lives today so that's my third message for you fourth message movies help us understand collaboration a lot better you know you cannot i live in isolation i saw the shooting of three idiots when i was in i am bangalore working as the head of alumni i was lucky i had resigned from the corporate world i came to i am bangalore and i saw amir khan madhavan sharman joshi um, the directors uh, their lectures raju hirani um, vidhu vinod chopra came and gave a lecture and i saw them work for a full day i was sitting with my coffee and i saw them do a simple shoot the shoot was all is well so all they had to do was come and sit thump their chest and say all is well they took the whole day to shoot this sequence and it was such team work everything had to fall in place at the right time and sometimes there would be cloud sometimes something will happen and they would take and retake and they all were motivated imagine from morning 8 till evening you're doing the same thing again and again how demotivating can that can be but these people had figured out a way to come together collaborate brainstorm discuss there were differences so they would find a way to resolve it what an amazing way to learn collaboration so i find movies as an amazing technique to learn collaboration munna bhai mbbs's discussion with this uh, scene where munna bhai mbbs even goes and hugs a janitor is such a strong signal of empathy and collaboration that we miss so that's a very important part of movies and the last competence there are so many movies that bring out competence of human beings there's this lovely movie called the martian and uh, you know there's this amazing concept that somebody is left on mars alone and how does this person survive and this person survives by learning how to grow potatoes otherwise he would die that's competence to be able to do something then he learns how to communicate with the earth using some simple techniques and he's a botanist by education a botanist trying to do all of this is amazing competence and this is what we should learn we should keep skilling ourselves we should keep becoming more experts in our work because that expertise will help us become a better person so please watch a lot of movies they are great stress busters they take us to different locations they fire up our curiosity creativity they help us in communication they lift our confidence they make us a better human being they help us in collaboration and competence and i think it will also bring you friends you can discuss movies together your eyes will lit up when you bring a movie scene into your discussion and business language and in your office work and in your academic institutions and learning will be so much more joy watch a movie every day it adds up about 10 days of wisdom to your life stay safe